Alright guys, here we are at the garden store. We've been stuck inside and it's been freezing cold. So it's a beautiful day. Let's go look. Well, this is normally where all the soil is and stuff to amend your soil. It's looking pretty bare. So normally this area is completely full of um, all of your different trees and everything and there's nothing right now. So we got to wait a few months to come back and show you guys. But if you can, go back and check out some of our other videos. Uh, normally this place is just jam packed. So let's look for some deals. Over here you're going to see more house plants and some of the exotics. Like our uh, citrus trees we seen last time at like 230 something dollars. We'll see if they're cheaper. Hey Grace, this looks a lot like you. Here's the seed area. We better start over here. Some nice grow tents. I'm in heaven now. Oh, there's the spinach strawberry everyone knows about. If I uh, can get you guys to try that, that is an awesome little vegetable and fruit on one plant. Remember when we grew that, we did a bit of a giveaway. Spinach? Brussels sprouts. There's lots of different companies that do different stuff. Yeah, I love those. We grew those last year, actually. And look at what else we grew. Lemon cucumber. I would say that's another big pick. If someone is thinking about growing those, go back and check out our video where we showed off those. Really fun to bring to people. You can bring them to work because they have a bit of a hardier skin, but the skin is actually edible too, so you don't have to worry about it being too thick. I don't know what we're looking for. Something different this year that you guys are gonna eat. I do have sweet peppers for you guys. Well, we grow cantaloupe every year. I think our melon trellis is gonna get turned into that lemon cucumber trellis. A lot of cool stuff here. Pumpkin, we're gonna make sure we have pumpkin. We started early enough so when come carving season, it's perfect. So we just gotta look at the back of a package of pumpkins and make sure that we're planting it at the right time. Like right here. Tell me what the, read the back of that package right there. When do we need to start that? There's the harvest, 75. 75 days, I think it is. So 75 days from Halloween is what? We'll have to look that one up and put it on the screen. <laughs> There's the milkweed so we can uh, do this so we see more of them monarch butterflies in our backyard too. That really helps them out. Lots of herbs. All right, we're gonna try these peas here. Sugar snap. We're going to go with a super sweet corn. Since we amended our area growing beans in, we're going to grow corn this year in that area again. That's really cool. Yeah, sure. I couldn't see it there. So beautiful. Passion flower. Now we do grow flowers to put in our tea mixes, so you got to definitely do your homework and figure out what's right to be doing that. Hibiscus is something we know is right. So today we're here to actually get some cocoa core. We've been growing and trying to grow our seeds this year in regular soil. What's cocoa core? Well, cocoa core is like coconut shreddings. And we started this year and just growing it in our regular stuff that we had and it did not work very good. I do not like any miracle grow stuff. And, and same with a lot of this stuff that's over here that's for fertilizing your plants and that. We do this all natural. Earthworm casting, 11.99. Well, 
There's the grapefruit and citrus trees. Last time they were, I think, $230 each. Let's go have a look at what price they are now. It's crazy how much they charge for these things here. Check out a price tag for me if you can find one. 129 bucks I'm seeing right now. Wow. That's expensive, but they are tall. If you compare them on a shelf to my tall daughter here, taller than me. You're tall. Look at these flowers. These flowers, I'll bet you if you look around hard enough, Grace, there's gonna be ones that have fruit on them. All these flowers eventually turn into a fruit. See if you can find one that has something on it. I'll guarantee we can find something here. See this one here is starting. Right there in the center. Hard to see. They smell really nice. Alright, there's the dirt area. That's what we've been looking for. So beautiful in here, seeing all these ferns up above, just soaking in that sunlight. Coco core, that's what we've been looking for. 34 bucks. Normally I buy this at the start of the winter and I kind of lost a lot of time growing in the other soils, waiting for my seeds to pop up. But some of this other stuff is just too harsh. This cocoa core is basically just cocoa core. And there's no like, uh, you know, harsh stuff that's in the soil. A lot of soil is always breaking down and stuff like that. Whereas this stuff is just the way it is. So let's grab a bag of Just throw it over your shoulder. Grab it quick and throw it up over your shoulder. Get it up. You got to do it all at once. Throw it up. There you go. Got you got her. I'm a good dad. I push my kids to work hard and do stuff. If I were to just carry it for her, how old would that teach her? <laughs> Alright, so we got our dirt. We got our couple seeds. And let's go home and shovel out because it is a nice day. We're going to shovel out our little garden area. Uh -huh, you're carrying it. <laughs> Go home, we'll dig out the garden, get rid of some snow, and we'll plant some seeds. Maybe not these because it, you want to look at the back of the package to make sure that you're not starting things too early. And some of these things don't even want to be started. They want you to just direct sow into the soil. So we got our pepper plants, we're going to replant in this cocoa core, and we're going to get back ahead of schedule. Smash that like button, guys. See you at home. All right, now that we're back home, let's go inside and have a look. While we're here, have a look at the house. We're redoing the whole outside of it. We took off all the old blue, so we don't have a blue house anymore. And while we were redoing the siding, we figured let's lay a layer of foam on, save that power bill. So let's go inside now. We got some new doors going on here. We're really excited. Oh, here we are in the backyard. Other than me walking through it a couple of times, I don't see any footprints for any squirrels or bunnies going in there. We're gonna get her shoveled out today. This here, our greenhouse, we did not take the plastic off this year or put the heater in. So the plastic just went, had enough. We had a rip in it and I knew as soon as that rip happened, it was gonna just start falling apart. Our garden used to only be about to here We've extended, if you watched our garden extension video. So let's get this all shoveled out down to the black tarp there and make sure that no nothing's chewing away at the tarping that's down. Well, that looks like as much as we could do today. Uh, we're gonna do this all in one video and time lapse it, but that deep snow and it was packed down. So it was hard to lift every shovel full. So we ended up getting a different shovel working at it. And we're going to show you guys in a part two video once we're cleaned up and we'll plant some seeds. 
so that was a fun day for us it was a good weekend hanging out i uh, hope you guys had fun watching our video of the greenhouse a lot of work being done on our house right now we've been very busy but it's been a really good winter getting to hang out with the family uh, we had a lot of seeds fail using the other soil as we were saying so we went and got that coca core and we're going to start off on a good stand here we know where what the coca core does and we know we succeed using it i was just being lazy and using soil i already had so take care guys and if you can as always try and grow a fruit forest of your own and just have fun doing it space things out do your research as much as you can to make sure you know what a plant needs how much space it's going to need or if it could grow and spread something like these raspberries and our mint here as long as you got a handle on things and you do your information look up your fact checking and uh have fun growing smash that like button guys canadian proud get outdoors